In this video, we look at Parallels Desktop 4 for Mac. It is Parallels uh, virtualization program for Mac and it's also available for Windows as Parallels Workstation. Now, Parallels is a really great uh, program and it's the program that I have been using for the last couple of videos. I'm going to do a search. You can go to the Parallels website and Parallels is more dense than, um, but essentially it basically does the same thing. allows you to easily run operating systems on your main system. And you can look into Parallels and decide if you want to buy it. The price is I believe $79.99 80 bucks. Um, and you can get the upgrade for $49.99 which is a really great price. Parallels is a really nice uh, program and it has been upgraded since its last version so you, I would recommend getting Parallels if you want a more advanced virtualization program. So let's open up Parallels. We will be then taken to our second spaces. Once it's get loaded up here, just shut down my boot camp partition through Parallels, so it might be a little slow. So this is Parallels, and the default look is this list of virtual machines. Now don't let this simple look for you. Parallels is a very powerful. A virtualization program and we have here one virtual machine my Windows Vista my Windows Vista bootcamp partition and just to clarify bootcamp is Apple's own software for allowing you to physically install Windows on your Mac and parallels allows you to get access to your bootcamp partition by allowing you to boot into your bootcamp whether you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista or even Windows 7 on your Mac. So, I'm not going to start it up because I just shut it down and it's going to take forever to start up. Um, but we will take a look at some of the preferences and settings here. In Parallels Desktop Settings, we have mouse controls, keyboard controls. Now, I've changed my Parallels uh, keyboard commands to toggle my full screen and Parallels Desktop 4 has a lot of nice new features including this new feature called Madly. It literally lets your operating system guest system run like a floating window on your Mac. Coherence which is the feature that I showed you when we first discussed virtualization allowing you to literally run Windows on top of your Mac side by side. have some other options here. The animations. Notice how when I started up my Windows uh, virtual machine it started up in this nice cube transition animation. If you're using Linux you know what that is or know what I'm talking about iPhone recognition and so forth. Let's take a look at some of the configurations here. If we go in and I click on my uh, virtual machine and click configure, here's where all the good settings can be uh, customized. We have general, boot order, startup, optimize, you can activate um, hypervisor and so forth security features, sys, uh, services, shared folders, you can share your hard disks between each other. And I'm going to get um, in more detail with Parallels when we get to the Parallels chapter in this service pack. Right now I'm just giving you an overview on all the most popular virtualization programs. You know, these nice features, coherence, hardware, you can change the CPU. If your system 
I has a two gig card uh, CPU. That's your maximum. If you have a eight, uh, you have a quad core. You have four, and so forth. Memory, video. You can change the video gra uh, memory. Floppy. You can mount your CD. This is also where you can change to boot your operating system from an image or real CD like we talked about in VirtualBox. And this, since it's, this is my boot camp virtual machine, I have it booting up for my actual Windows Vista hard disk on my computer. Sound and so forth. Now let's say we want to create a new virtual machine. We can go ahead and click File, New Virtual Machine. And this is the setup for when you have want to create a new virtual machine. You have right off the bat you can choose to install from the CD or the image file. You can also skip detection. Let's go. And here's a nice look at the operating systems. We looked at this in an earlier video. How you can install Windows, Mac, various versions of Linux, FreeBSD, OS2 Warp, MS DOS, and Solaris, and so forth. Let's say we wanted to install FreeBSD. Let us. Now let's go to Linux. I want to install a Linux. Um, I like Mandrevia Linux. That's one of my favorite Linux. So we'll go ahead and create one of those. We have the option to create a typical or custom. We're going to do a custom so I can show you the advanced features or settings. You can give your uh, virtual machine one to two CPUs. I have two as my maximum because I only have uh, a dual core processor. We have the amount of memory we can give. Just because you see this large number at the end doesn't mean that's the amount of maximum memory you have on your actual system. Please note that any system changes you do to your virtual machine, it has to match your actual system. So if your system has a maximum of, say, 2 gigs of memory, that's the maximum amount of uh, memory you can give to your virtual machine. You can create the hard disk from the image file, an existing image file, your bootcamp partition, and so forth. As well as set up network. Um, by default, you have a shared network, which means your internet connection from your Mac will be uh, shared with your virtual machine. So your virtual machine will have internet access. And you can optimize the virtual machine for uh, better performance as a virtual machine or give more better performance to your Mac when the virtual machine is using it's being used you can give it the name and so forth change the location and once that's done you can go ahead and we see the Mandrevia Linux has been created and I'll show you how to go ahead and install, download and install ISO files. I particularly like to play with Linux a lot because it's free, most of them anyway. And it's a great way to play around with virtualization. So that's it for this video. We want to look at Parallels Desktop 4.0 for Mac. Next video we'll look at VMware Fusion for Mac.